Welcome to Sterling High School. Today is Thursday and it is March 25th, 2021. I'm Mr. Claiborne. I'm here with Mrs. Considine. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? Doing well, and you? Very good. Good. Very good. Mrs. Constantine and our entire admin team has been working hard this year. We're making preparations for the end of the year, and uh, we have some additional things we want to talk about as far as what's coming up next. But, but first, uh, a couple things we want to acknowledge, and that is first, our boys basketball team. That's what we did last year, but it's uh, escalated even another level. If you have not seen that, um, NJ.com has named them the Colonial Conference team of the year mm -hmm. which is tremendous that's the whole colonial conference um they were liberty division champions their conference team of the year and then um antoine arnett senior was named the player of the year so congratulations to him uh, huge accomplishment uh, for the team and coach Barringer, and we all share in that joy um, we are into winter uh, again we have winter wrestling is happening winter girls volleyball which is not normal but um, girls volleyball team I think remains undefeated at mm -hmm. this point and that is fantastic and then we will start I think pitchers and catchers it's like we're, we're talking about the MLB here <laughs> pitchers and catchers can report um, this weekend but then the official start to spring is in April 1st which means there's actually gonna be a period where Mr. Manlove our athletic <laughs> director will be juggling 11 teams Crazy. at one time but it's all about the kids and opportunity to play and that's what we are thrilled about they are having an opportunity to participate, so we're excited. Awesome. Um, other news and announcements, always make sure that you're keeping uh, frequent with your emails and you're checking them. I try to send out you know, this video as well as other news weekly. Mr. Sheehan also does similar, so Mr. Sheehan often uh, issues letters. He made a statement around the recent shootings in Atlanta and the Asian American community, and uh, it's something that our equity team is beginning to prioritize um, as we continue to have courageous conversations throughout um, this school year about the different aspects of what our students are facing and our staff are facing throughout the school year. Um, so, Mrs. Considine, uh, another announcement, we're, we're continuing to move forward with um, our hybrid schedule, which really is going to c continue, um, but we want to continue to invite more, more kids back, right? Yes. Um, we're excited to... to you know, with the work that our teachers have done up to this point with the hybrid instruction, we understand the challenges that teachers and students are having. Um, but we wanted to invite students again, provide another opportunity for students to come in four days a week. We, we opened up that opportunity towards the end of first semester, and we wanted to do the same again as we're entering the fourth quarter. So the fourth quarter starts on Wednesday, April 14th. So we wanted to um, you know, welcome students back. If students are interested in pursuing coming to Sterling for four days, um, we want to offer that opportunity to them again. Good, so uh, fourth quarter begins uh, April? Wednesday, April 14th. Is, is the transition day there. So yes. um, you can contact who if you're interested. Okay, so any student or parent that is interested in their child returning to Sterling for four days uh, per week, they can email or call their guidance counselor and their guidance counselor will work to accommodate their requests um, by Friday, April 16th. So we are gonna give a few additional days into the fourth quarter, um, but by Friday, April 16th, any student that wants to come back to Sterling for the fourth quarter for four days a week has the opportunity to do so. Great, and we are maintaining our current guidelines um, with the six feet separation. We yes. are not um, changing that. So if you saw the CDC release statement going to three feet, um, we're not diving into that right now. And actually just today, um, our county or region has been elevated to orange again. So mm -hmm. we are back in the high risk area. So the six feet is still the recommendation. And so as we welcome the four, four days a week, um, we are making sure that classrooms remain safe. Um, so that has not changed. It's still the six feet, um, but we want to continue to invite more students to come into our building. And uh, we're going to lock that down, though. So then once we hit the 16th, um, essentially for the fourth quarter, that's your last opportunity um, to make a cohort change, unless for some reason you felt like you needed to leave the building right. and go fully right. remote. But then we will not. So tr try to make your best informed decision and uh, apply for that by reaching out to your counselor so that we can finish the fourth quarter with as many students um, safely in the building as possible. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice. I think that the, 
as I'm in the hallways, I'm starting to see more students and it's starting to feel a little bit more like a normal school year. Um, the hallways definitely still are not crowded by any means, but it's nice to see students. I felt like there was a period of time where, you know, I could walk down the hallway and only pass a few students. So it's nice to return to some sense of normalcy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. But with that said, we're still doing all the main things that we have been doing. We're washing our hands, our, our face masks are wearing. We're, like we said, we're staying the six feet apart. Um, students are still wiping their desks. We're doing all of those same things, and we will remain that way for the rest of this school year. So unless, um, again, we get shut down based on a county thing, or unless there's some major mandate, which we do not anticipate, our schedule is pretty much gonna remain the same through this school year. Um, but again, we're hoping to invite more students back and that you'll join us. Now, speaking to that, next week um, is a normal, it's only a four day week, because so we're going into the spring break, the Easter right. holiday break, but Wednesday will be a fully remote day like normal. So we'll have Blue Monday, Silver Tuesday, fully remote Wednesday, and then it'll be a Blue Thursday, and then um, we're all on break. So speaking of break, People probably are traveling or have plans, and uh, people have made plans based on guidance that was, that was put out there. Mm -hmm. But it's changed, unfortunately, and that's frustrating. So, prior to a couple of days ago, if you were fully vaccinating, meaning you got both of your, your shots or the complete dose of whatever shot you got, or you had been positive, mm -hmm. and within the 90 days of being positive, then after travel outside of the tri-state area, you did not have to quarantine. Right. And so we know that people heard that message, whether you are a student or a staff member, and you may have made plans based on that information, or you hustled and got your vaccine. Or Unfortunately, that's now changed. That information has changed. If you um, now have to quarantine, so regardless of your vaccination or being positive, if you travel, you have to quarantine. So I need you to take serious consideration onto what your plans are and um, more importantly, be forthcoming as you return um, for the safety of all of us and to be in compliance with what is um, the recommendation, which they, um, you know, they really want to see enforced is that you have to quarantine. So that's a tough conversation in homes, among staff, but uh, what's most important is that you're communicating it and, and keeping everyone safe. So unfortunately, we have to give you that information that the quarantine due to travel still is in effect regardless of your vaccination or if you were positive within the 90 days. So I'm sorry to report that, but please make sure that you are taking that into consideration and, and keeping all of us safe if you and your family end up having a trip. Mm -hmm. I think that is all for this week. Um, but we're looking forward to it. We'll be with you one more time next week, and then we're going to have a wonderful spring break. And so from the castle, that's a go Knights.